Tip number one, a variable speed router or a router with a router speed controller is a must for all large router bits. The larger and taller a router bit is, the slower it will need to spin in order to perform to its fullest potentials without causing damage to the workpiece or to the cutters themselves. Tip number two, keep your collet clean. The router collet performs two very important jobs. First, it holds the router bit securely, and second, it keeps that bit perfectly centered. If the collet gets dirty, it can cause the router bit to have a vibration or wobble, or worse, it can let that router bit slip while you're routing. Tip number three, never let your router bit bottom out in the collet. Collets work by pulling down into the router as they are tightened. If the router bit shank is bottomed out, the collet won't be able to seat properly and can cause wobbling, slipping, and damage to the router and router bit. Tip number four, never skimp on work holding. Accessories like featherboards and stock guides, jigs like coping sleds, and machines like power feeders all act to eliminate vibration, reduce the chances of kickback, and help you produce consistent results. Tip number five, take small bites. Don't be impatient and try to hog out large molding profiles or rabbits and dados in a single pass. Taking a few light passes is much safer and will produce superior results. Not to mention it will help your router bits last longer by reducing stress and heat buildup.